ready. Well, today I'm going to make a comparison between uh, two Telecasters. These are both late model, within a year or two of each other. I'm going to say the Honey Burst there is a little newer, maybe maybe a year, maybe two. All right. That one is a Telecaster Performer with a Honey Burst finish. Uh, made in the USA in Corona, California. <laughs> this is also a Fender Telecaster. Uh, made in Ensenada, Mexico, which is just down the coastline from Corona. And it's a, a 50s road, road worn. So, let's get up here and make some comparisons. <clears throat> Start here at the headstock, see what we got. Okay, up here on the on the performer, we got the vintage tuning keys. We got that kind of a string tree, kind of a modern one. Has the uh, truss rod adjustment right there in the above the nut in the bottom of the headstock. Now let's compare it to the to the uh, '50s road worn, made in Mexico. Okay, this is. Obviously a little more vintage look. It's got the same vintage keys. Tuning pegs, it doesn't have the washer. See this one had the big washers. Uh, this one doesn't. It's, what they were, were trying to do here is be a, a, a vintage period correct, uh, early 50s. <coughs> okay, notice here, that is not an opening to get to the truss rod that is either it looks like a walnut plug it's a solid piece whatever you I mean it could be painted I don't know but that right there is not doesn't give you access to anything it's just cosmetic okay you can see right away that this thing has been relicked you can see some of the relicking around the headstock you can see some of the wood grain really nice really nice job on this relicking this this one here of course we get the obvious you know we get the wood grain as well uh, and this neck has been been a relic really good job that's a maple neck uh, I've, actually maple is my favorite on a telecaster this one here is a uh, rosewood I assume Now they keep, you know, they they kind of outlawed rosewood, but I'm going to assume that's rosewood. Uh, you know, there's other kinds. All right, let's work a little farther down. And uh, notice that that pickup, that, that bridge pickup, is a little different than the one on the performer, in that the performer has two screws. And this one doesn't. This one has no screws, so it's mounted differently. Okay, the bridges are uh, the vintage bridges. This one's been relic. Uh, this one's also a vintage bridge. I like the vintage bridges. I like those barrel saddles. This has got a the brass saddles. Saddles where the uh, the fifties has the, the steel saddles. Now, one thing that's going to stand out right away. Is look at that control panel configuration, which is a, what you'll find on all tellies. If you go buy one, buy one, there's the selector switch on the top, the volume, and the tone. Now, if you look over at this one, wait, wait. That dude's didn't been turned upside down. Here we got the selector switch on the bottom. What they've also done here is they move those controls. These potentiometer so this one up here is the volume and they have to be swapped or it would be the tone okay now this is really handy for uh, if you look at this one you see that if you want to reach down here and grab your pinky I and mean, grab this volume control with your pinky it's going to be I mean it's there it's doable it's a little out of the way this one up here it's been moved to make it a lot handier. <laughs> it 
So, you know, you, you can, uh, if you get handy with that, uh, you don't even need to use a volume pedal. You can use that tone pedal. Uh, the tone of these guitars, you know, they're both great. It's hard to say which one is best. This one has what they call a, a grease bucket wiring. Wiring, so it's kind of a, a new thing for a, Fender Telecasters, maybe other uh, USA Telecasters, and this is this is a, uh, and these are Alnico pickups. I'm not sure if they're four or fives. <clears throat> these here, I believe these are uh, Tex Mex pickups. If I'm not mistaken. I think that's what they put in most of these uh, road worn guitars. Uh, possibly ceramic magnets. I don't know. <coughs> you know, to me, a magnet's a magnet. People seem to make a big deal out of whether a magnet's made out of a, a combination of uh, aluminum, cobalt, and nickel, or if they're ceramic. I, I don't. I believe these are a little hotter, a little brighter than these. But, you know, the way I look at it, you can fix, you can get any tone you want. If you set your amp, your processors, whatever you're using. One thing I should have done here, I'll go back and show you an obvious difference. Okay, look. Look at that neck profile. That's your, uh, that's on your USA Performer. Real thin neck. It's fast, fast as lightning. This dude here, that's got a chunkier neck. Look at that thing. That's your 50s neck. It's called a, I don't know, I think they call it either a slim U or a thin U. Because these necks were actually, if you look down here, there's your truss rod adjustment right there in the bottom of that neck. So you have to pull that neck off. But because of a, this neck is quite a bit thicker. Then this one, I don't see that neck really ever moving. This one, of course, it doesn't have an adjustment here. It's right up there. I like I like them down here. You know, I just like it. I like that. And that's what they were doing, you know, back with old no casters, whenever that was, 49, 50. So they've gone with that no caster uh, configuration, but with a thinner neck. The, the no caster had a baseball bat neck on it. This one is... I mean, it's beefy. I mean, but it feels my it feels my hand real uh, real nice. It feels good. So that's kind of the difference, and I can't really say, you know, for certain. They both sound great. They've got a little different tone. This one here will really nail that Bakersfield sound, I think. But this one will too, you know. So <clears throat> anyway, that's the guitars. Uh, I'm not even going to do a tone comparison because, you know, they sound about the same, man, or Telecasters. So either one of them, this one is a little cheaper. And, uh, okay, let's look at some of the relicking while we're here. And they did a really good job on it. You know, it's not some of the early relicking. They went a little too far. This one here is just about right. You know, it looks like a guitar that's been played, taken very well, very well taken care of, uh, you know, since the 50s, but it's been played. You know, it's been hauled around the clubs and dance halls. This one's not relic. It's got that beautiful honey burst. Now, as far as the weight, there's a difference in the wood, and I'm not sure. This one might be mahogany. This one might be alder. I don't know. I'd have to research that, but... Uh, the performer over here, uh, it weighs in at 7.31 pounds. Uh, the 50s road worn weighs 6.91, so it's a little bit lighter. You know, they're in a ballpark. Uh, just the road worns, oh golly, I don't know. It made in Mexico. Which really doesn't mean anything anymore as far as quality. They use the same CNC machines. There's no, you know, handmade stuff on either one of these. 
But because it's made in Mexico, it's cheaper. I think that one there lists around 1200 This one here lists around 800 So there's a $400 difference on two guitars, and you might prefer, you know, the 50s road worn over the more expensive. It's certainly, in my opinion, just a good as just a good as guitar. That'll conclude the video, so whatever y'all think. Thanks for watching.